Hogan Review of Fright, directed by Lenny Abrahamson, a comedy that follows an aspiring musician who joins a band of mentally disturbed experimentalists with a passionate, mask-wearing obscurity as the band's frontman. Frank is a movie that I've been aware of for quite some time now. I remember listening to Mark Kerman's review and listening to him describe the film and saying that Michael Fassbender wears this gigantic mask throughout the entire film, and that alone had me wanting to see the film. Michael Fassbender is one of those actors I've been a relatively big fan of ever since I've been exposed to him, and I think he's just one of those actors with an extraordinary amount of range, and I think he's just an overall extraordinary actor. I think he's one of the best actors working today in his age group. And although Michael Fassbender is wearing a gigantic mask throughout the entire film, I think he does as good as one could do while wearing a gigantic mask throughout an entire film. He does a lot with his physical movements, you know, the tilting of the head, the way he kind of moves his body, that kind of thing, and with his voice. And I think with all the stuff that he does in the film, I think he does a pretty good job. But the one performance I was the most impressed with was actually Maggie Gyllenhaal's, and I'll be honest, I'm not the world's biggest Maggie Gyllenhaal fan, and in fact, I've yet to see a Maggie Gyllenhaal performance that I can say that I've actually been a fan of until now, and here she is really, really good, and her character is utterly insane, and I mean insane, I mean she is pretty effed up. And I've heard some people complain about her character saying that she was unlikable or saying that they hated her, I disagree. I found her character to be actually quite sympathetic, given how I feel as if that she was a person who was a victim of herself because of her craziness. And I don't know, I just kind of find it hard to hate on somebody who has a disease. Then you also have the Domino Gleason character, who is somebody, like I said in my synopsis, wants to become a musician. Yet at the same time, though, wants to become famous. And he's somebody who is more attracted to the fame side of things rather than making music. At the beginning of the film, we get a really good insight of what kind of character he is. He's using Twitter and he posts updates and the likes of, okay, I'm in the studio making music. Yet two minutes later, he'll post an update saying, okay, it's time to eat. He's not very devoted to making music. He's just more attracted to getting attention and becoming famous. He's attracted to the thought of having millions of followers. He's attracted to the thought of playing sold out concerts. And that doesn't make him a bad person. That just makes him somebody who is just probably not a purebred artist. Meanwhile, you have Frank and his crew who just want to make music just to make music. They're not trying to necessarily appeal to a broad audience. They're just trying to appeal to themselves. And although some of the music might sound a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit odd, there is this very original quality to it, and it stands out. Then go back to the Dumb Dog Gleason character. He makes good music, yet at the same time, though, his music just sounds incredibly generic and arbitrary, like every other independent pop artist that's been around for the past 10 years or so. It's just kind of boring. Which now brings me to say this. This movie is a commentary on the mainstream music industry and showcases just how far gone mainstream music has gone into the fiery depths of hell. And there's just really no other way to say it, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Music today, or mainstream music today, is just fucking awful. You turn on the radio today and everything sounds exactly the same. And not only that, but it also sounds like shit. And all these little artists, and more specifically female artists, they're pretty much softcore porn stars. And I hate saying that, but they kind of are. I mean, really, if you want to do that kind of stuff, just become a model or just do porn. I mean, really... Just get out of the music industry if you don't want to make good music. The music industry today is nothing more than a popularity contest, and that is it. That's all it is. And although the music by Frank and his crew go against the grade to the point of where it's just kind of batshit mad, I still much rather listen to the music by them than listen to whatever's on the radio right now. Overall, Frank is a quirky and fun film with a lot to say. I'm going to give Frank a low 4 out of 5. As always, I'm Colin Kirkland. And thank you so much for watching.